So, I don't know who's going to be interested in this video, but I am so happy and excited for this year. Like, you guys don't even know. So, let me just give you some background. So, last Sunday, or let me start from the beginning. So, for a while now, I've been wanting to go to church just because... My mom hates religion, specifically Christianity, so much. And, you know, my dad is really open to trying new things. And with all this degeneracy running around wild in the world, I thought, hey, why don't I follow something that could potentially lead me in a better way? Like... For a while, I was feeling like I pretty much had no purpose, like, every day I would wake up, do the same old things, like, it was just boring. So I finally dragged my dad into church last Sunday, and oh my gosh, was it the most fun experience ever. They played a live band in the beginning, showing off like, their Christian music and everything, and it was so beautiful. The band was so beautiful. And then we met our pastor. There's one, two, three, four that I know of. And Wednesday, I have my young adults class. I'm going to the, for the first time ever, and I am so excited. And then on the 11th, I have my first ever baptism, and I am so excited for that. And it's just like, ever since I've been, like, involving myself with Jesus, it's like, I feel so much happier now, and I see everything in a whole different light. Like, I know people are going to think I'm weird for saying this, but if you accept him into your life, it's like you're a whole new person. Like, I go outside, and before when I went outside, I was just like, oh, I'm outside. But now that I'm outside, I'm like, everything is a whole new experience. The fresh air smells so much more beautiful. Going outside and seeing the grass and stuff is so much more beautiful. Even looking at my fish tank, I'm like, wow. I made that, and it's only there because I did that, and he gave life to this beautiful fish that I have, and, like, it's still alive, too. Like, I'm so surprised that my fish is still alive. Like, the past fish I've had, like, it's not their fault. It's the pet store's fault for not taking better care of them, but, like, they would have died by now. But, like, this one's still alive. Oh, and I have to show you guys my new Bible. I am so excited. And I know I might be talking fast just because I'm so happy, but, like, it was an amazing experience. They gave me a free pen and notebook to write in, a interactive book about starting your new life with God, which is really cool. And they gave me another book for the life group that I'm going to. I really am excited for that. And I might bring that book and the Bible maybe. Probably not because I don't know if I'm going to be able to read during the thing. But it is till 9 to midnight. So maybe. I'll see. But I am definitely going to bring my Bible. Okay, I had to go and get it. But just look at this. Look at how pretty it is. I didn't even know these types of Bibles existed. It's backwards, but it is the prayer map Bible, the King James Version. Let me just show it off. Real quick. <clears throat> so this is the cover. It is so beautiful looking. And so, yeah, that's what it says right there. The paper is like so thin, which is cool. But, um,. Yeah, so it's basically like a little notebook. You read a little bit, and then you write your prayers in. So it's got all of this stuff in it. I'm super excited to write in it. Let me try to find one of the notebook pages real quick. Okay, yeah, so see? 
get to a little stopping point, and then you read a little prayer. So there's that one. This is the first one, I think. And then, you know, you put the date, and you make a prayer, and you thank him for it. You pray for today. You are worried about today. What's happening in your life today? What you need? Other things on my heart to share with him. And then you say, Amen. And then, you know, you just say all of this once you're done writing. And then you say, Amen. And, y'all. I was looking at Bibles to get. And I picked up this really giant. Oh my gosh. It has a little bookmark. Okay. Sorry. I got distracted by the little bookmark. It's so cool, though. I love that. Because of my giant bookmark, I was worried it's going to mess it up. But I love that it comes with it. Okay. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I am so excited to be starting my new life pretty soon. Well, actually, I just started it. But, like, I'm so excited I can finally start my new life with God. And it's not too late. Like, I always believed looking at the world through, like, realism. So, like, logic. Like, what is scientifically real? So, like, oh, Santa can't scientifically exist, blah, 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 like that sort of stuff. But, like, I always came at religion, like, The Lord couldn't possibly have existed as a God. That just makes no sense. And scientists love saying with the Big Bang. I know we can't prove what caused it, but, like, scientists' best theory for the Big Bang is, like, there was nothing. And then there was just an explosion of matter and energy, and it created the universe, like... How does that happen? How is there nothing and then all of a sudden there's something? Like, I know there's aliens out there and I know, like, there is a force out there that is controlling everything. And call me crazy, but, like, I now 100% believe that Jesus Christ lived. And he is the God and the one true God. I do believe in multiple gods, like the great gods and all that. But now that I'm really looking into Christianity and stuff, I truly believe that he is the God. Like, when everyone thinks of God, they don't think of Buddha or the God Zeus or Hades. They think of Jesus Christ. Now, why would they do that? Well, it's because he is the one true God and Savior. And I know my hair is all messed up because I literally just woke up from a nap. But, like, he is the one true God and he can save anyone. I am 19 years old and getting my first baptism soon. It's never too late to accept Christ into your life. And when I pray before I go to bed, I used to always be afraid of the dark still up to my age but like last night was the first time I prayed before I went to bed like I slept so good because I asked him to give me a good night's rest and oh my god was it amazing sure he took a nap but like also I believe 100% that the first time I ever saw God was real was when I deleted all the stuff on my phone accidentally and then like the next day everything is back and I literally did nothing. It had to have been him because like I legit did not do anything to get this stuff back. Like it was gone. So yeah, he can help you do anything. You just have to be willing to open your life to him. And I'm so grateful he has accepted me and opened my arms to me. Because as a child, I was always afraid of death and like what would come after. But now, 
I'm no longer afraid of death. Because I know there is an afterlife. And I know he can save me of my sin and everything good. He can save you too. That is why he died on the cross for our sins. Because when we pass away, he will judge us. And even if you are a good person and did some sin, if you repent and accept him as your God, you can go to heaven. And I started believing and, like, wondering if he's real. Because I was watching, like, ghost hunting videos. And, like, this one ghost was talking about the afterlife and said that there is an afterlife, a heaven. And that it is real and the afterlife is warm and peaceful. And, like, that was, like, the nail right there. Like, that was the proof I needed to say, yep, the afterlife is real. I'm going to give my life to Christ. It is such a beautiful thing. And I encourage so many other people to join a church because it changed my life for the better. I 100% believe that. And I am just so happy. I cannot express on the video how happy I am. Because it's just a feeling you have, like, every night now. Literally every night when I'm sleeping, I dream about him. I dream about the Lord. It's so crazy. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I hope I inspired someone out there to join a church. Even young people. We need more teenagers and kids in church. It is not a bad thing. Don't listen to what society says. I encourage everyone to get enlightened.